I grow taller than you, Sans, you shall kiss me! Haha, <laughs> that'll never ever happen. Much, much, much later. Well, Sans? Oh, sh. Welcome to Undertale Comic TV. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you'll never miss a video. Enjoy! The sign can't stop me because I can't read. Hmm. If I mix the yellow juice with the blue one, I'll get a green juice. I'm a scientist. 20 minutes later. Hmm. <laughs> Where are you going? Going to play. What? With these toys? That's for baby bones. Take blasters instead. During Jevil's battle. <laughs> Chris! Huh? Something's wrong. I think that attack is doing something. Susie starts laughing maniacally. Chaos, uh. <laughs> 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 hey, chaos, hey, nerd! <laughs> Something is wrong with Susie. Huh? You ask Rouse if he can help. Of course I can, Chris. After all. I can do anything. <laughs> Your friends are acting very strange. Your friends are enthralled by Jevil. Uh oh. You feel like this is going to be a very, very challenging battle. To be free like them? Just look at how happy they are! They're overwhelmed with joy! You say they're not free. They didn't have any choice in the matter. He just took them. Took control. And they became his puppets. His <laughs> playthings. How could that be freedom? You decline Jevil's offer and say you'll keep fighting for your friends. Mm. Very well then! Stay comfortable in your gilded cage, little soul! Let F1 commence! <laughs> As I was saying earlier, you know, I was thinking of paying a visit to Lancer or something soon. You wanna come along? Oh, yeah, I'd love to. Brother! Yes, sis? I wanted to introduce you to my boyfriend. Hey, yeah, I'm Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I already befriended your mom last You'd be night. be dead where you stay. You wanna have a bad time, kid? <laughs> Fart jokes are pretty funny. Da -da 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 -da. Uh. You're ready to die, little shit. Cause I ain't showing you any mercy this time. Bring it on, you overgrown asshole. I ain't scared of ya. Just you wait. Your little sliver of HP ain't gonna mean shit when I finally catch ya. What? What the hell? How'd you even? <laughs> you ran right into it, dumbass. What? Did you actually think you were gonna win? <laughs> I was just playing, you asshole. 
I have to go easy on you or the game wouldn't be any fun. <laughs> it's like I'm playing against a stupid ass baby. Why don't you practice again on baby mode? Maybe then I wouldn't have to go so easy on you. You stupid baby. Faced with the despair of being called a baby by someone the size of a small kitten, Sans found that he only had these words to say about the game. Yeah, this game is bullshit! Get good, dumbass! You know what? Some of us ain't little useless pets and have to go to work during the day. It ain't my fault I can't practice this shit all day, so shut the f*** up! Did you just call me a pet again? Yeah, I did, cause you're a pet! A damn useless ass pet! Like you're any less useless! I see you coming home during work and sleeping every damn day! Another round? <laughs> sure, whatever. It was a breakthrough. With a single human soul, my family, the N5, they could truly be revived. But before I could properly test the properties and effects of the prototype soul, your brother, he started to lose his mind, killing things. Screaming about nonsense, lashing out at me, becoming mad and violent, just as your sister had. I couldn't bear to watch another fall apart like that, not again. So, to save him from his madness, I took a chance, and gave the prototype soul out of his to him, hoping for the best. But, it's overwhelmed him. Experiencing vivid emotions for the first time in his life, he panicked and tried to kill me. No, I know that isn't quite right. What he did, he tried to erase me from existence. The power of two perfectly fused human souls, combined with the magical control of a monster's body. With that fearsome power, he ripped me from the pages of history, from memory. From reality. Terrifying. And yet, it was oddly beautiful. Watching yourself disappear into nothingness right before your very eyes. But, at the last moment, he seemed to regain his awareness. For whatever reason, he hesitated to finish me off. That's when I saw it. The shadow. After it stopped, his shadow split from him. Vicious. It attempted to finish what your brother refused to, dragging what was left of me into the depths of the void. The result was this shapeless form you see now. Becoming a part of the void, time and space lose meaning. You're everywhere, yet nowhere. Yeah? Because of that, I've seen things. Distortions in time. Massacres that have happened. Uh, that will happen again. Our small, closed-off section of the world has become warped. Stuck inside an unending loop of tragedies and false hopes. You and your brother have felt it, haven't you? An odd deja vu. I had to do something to stop the cycle. Something only I, as part of the Void, could do. I've seen the future, son. All of the possible outcomes. To escape this repeating loop. To make everything right again. This is the best course of action. Those two had to be removed if time in your world was to ever progress normally again. You understand, don't you? This is what has to be done. For everyone's sake. The determination extraction should be over in a few more hours. Afterwards, they'll be put to sleep peacefully, and their soul will be put to much better use. Don't worry, they're not in any pain. This... This is for the best. Don't pay it any mind. They're only human, after all. Thank you for bringing that flower here for me, son. Here, have some hot cocoa. Don't worry, your brother will be here to take you home soon.
Yes. Yes, this will all be over soon.